Do you believe it? Sure. All right. I think this is great pre-podcast content. To be Me too. Hello. Welcome to the Swing Dome Podcast. I'm Ben Rittner. I'm a 10.2 handicap. I play some Cobra Clubs, and I'm here with my best golfing buddy, Gunner. What's up? Now, now you've got to introduce yourself. Oh, we're going to have to start this over. Edit the hell out of it. All I've realized I shouldn't have introduced you. I should just, like, when I, when I finish saying what my handicap is, I probably I don't need to tell people that I play. Do I need to tell people I play Cobras? Does that matter? I don't know if it matters. Does it matter to you? I mean, I like Cobras. I, wanna, I, don't, play, oh, I don't have a full set of Cobras, so I probably shouldn't say that. I'd like to have a full set of Cobras by the end of – Yeah. Okay. So, right, so that bad golf, you watch that? I did watch it. They've got 20,000 subscribers, and Puma Clothing sponsors them. Oh, I could really use some Puma Clothing. Yeah, I know. And all it takes is to be bad at golf. They're really bad at let's start let's start again. You ready? I like being introduced. I'm not gonna lie to you. So. You oh you want me to introduce you? Yeah, because if you're just gonna start it out, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. All right, I'll start it off and I'll introduce you. Hello, welcome to the Swing Zone Podcast. My name is Ben Rittner, uh, avid golfer, 10.1 or 2 handicap at the moment. Uh, I'm here with my buddy, Gunnar Kane. He is, he's in Virginia at the moment. I'm all the way over in England. We used to live down the street from each other, but I moved here about a, a month ago, and I figured we'd do a podcast. He claims to be an 8 handicap, but I have yet to see those skills out on the golf course. Hey, Gunnar, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good morning. Good. Oh, yeah. Good morning to you. It is 1622 here. Oh, in American time, it's 1122 in the morning. So Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So how is, uh, how, how's your golf game coming? At the, how, how Are you playing any golf lately? Yeah, it's going great. I play a lot um, on the Xbox. Yep. And, I got my PlayStation 3, so I know yeah. what that's about. Yeah, and so I'm doing pretty good. I'm I'm probably at plus twenty four now. Yeah, yeah. So I'm really a hundred percent green in regulations, a hundred percent fairway in regulation every time. <laughs> nice. Um, is there anything we need to know about you as a golfer? Um, sure. I I have been playing. Let's see, nine years now. Cool. Uh, picked it up. Picked it up to. Uh, do something with my son who who started before me. He's eleven, so he's been playing. He's been playing about his whole life, and uh, I've been really good and I've been really bad. And currently, we're we're in the latter stages of that. In the good or the bad? The bad. Oh, okay. We're, At, an eight handicap. Deep bad. You're okay. Yeah. You're decent. I played with you two weeks ago. And you okay. still beat me, even though I was using my wrong clubs and everything. Um. Any hole in ones? Do you have a hole in one yet? I have not. I've come close, um, yeah. but that doesn't count, I guess. I, I have no hole in ones. I have, a, I have a hole in one on a driving range at 110 yards. I I count it. Okay. I mean, it went it went in the. We got a new dog, so our new dog is is helping everybody sweep with brooms and stuff. Oh, how sweet! How does he do that? With this, do you attach it to his tail, or is he no with a, his with his mouth. with his needle like teeth? He just jumps on brooms. <laughs> all right so golf this week it is the week of oh it's backwards here it is the f- third of april <laughs> it is the i'm like is it the fourth of march or is it the third of april it's the third of april um there has been no golf for two weeks yeah pro or otherwise it has yeah. been it, well they're still doing the, the cactus courses. tour oh well, that's nice. That's interesting. Yeah, I saw somewhere that uh, Haley Moore, uh, she just mm-hmm. won on the she just won on the Cactus Tour. I, I, I'm really interested in this Haley Moore. Now that you you speak of her, she was really really good in college. Yes, and 
I think I think she has the potential to light it up and bring a bring a whole bunch of new faces to golf. To be honest with you, I totally agree. I always like I always think it's really funny that it's like her story is like from being bullied to becoming a hero. I'm like anybody who plays golf gets bullied. If you're on the golf team in high school, which I wasn't, and I sorely regret as a human being, I would have loved to have had free golf lessons in high school. Like you were a bit of a nerd. Like you weren't on the football team. You weren't on the basketball team. You were on the golf team. Like everybody on the golf team gets bullied. It's, you know, and then you have people like we were, uh, like we were discussing like Paige Spiernak. She, she gets bullied all the time, but for the opposite reason to Haley Moore. Yeah. Like when your life is in the public, you just get bullied. It is interesting. It is interesting that uh, there are some stark differences, obviously to Haley Moore and Paige Spiernak. And one is touted as a hero, and the other one is being told she's basically ruining the image of golf. And I think they're both doing great things for golf in their yes. own way. Yeah, yeah. Do you think the bullying? Do you think the bullying in in high school is a generational thing for golfers? Like, do you think they're more lauded as the cool kids now? Um. So in my school, like the golf kids were like the kids who had a bit more money. Mm. Cause like a set of golf, like when you joined the football team, like they gave you everything. Like when you joined the basketball team, they, they gave you everything. I think you had to pay for sneakers, but other than that, they gave you everything. Um, baseball, you had to go out and buy stuff. So that was a bit more expensive. And then golf was like really expensive because not only like, did you have, like, a couple, like, almost $1,000 worth of equipment? Right. You had to then, like, like, where did you had to, where you had to pay to practice? Well, see, I know the, I know the high schools here, they, they get their own clubs now. Um, they, they get given equipment so that the, so that the high school can regulate the conforming club issue and what yeah yeah they'll they'll give you a set of clubs if you can't if you can't produce your own oh okay a set of clubs oh okay cool and i thought you meant like if if i showed up with like a uh you know a set of titleist blades like the tiger wood the tw 7000s or whatever they are they're like sorry those don't like you can't play blades here's like no, a no, set no. of wilson hacks no, but I'm saying, but if you if you showed up with one of those standalone putters, they're yeah. gonna make you take that out of the bag. Oh, you okay. Can get a new one, or you can um, use one of theirs. Okay. So this that's is awesome. yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. That definitely didn't happen when I was in high school. Um, or maybe it did. Maybe I just didn't know. Maybe I was just not into. I was not into golf at that time. Um, so it's week two of the yes. C word pandemic. <laughs> it was it was quite interesting to see them shut down the players. Yeah, Jay Jay Monahan came out and said we're going to do it without any fans. And then that night or the next night, he said, "Sorry, but we're not going to do this at all. We want to be so we want to flatten the curve and keep everybody away from each other." How do you? I mean. Golf, it's played in entire parks. Right. Like, why is it such a bad thing for people to to be playing golf? Well, I guess we'll get into that later. So they shut down the player, the players. Hideki Matsuyama shoots minus nine on the first day. 63? Was it a 62 or 63? I think it was a 63. Yeah, 63. Right, right. I think so. I'm going to Google it real quick. It doesn't look. It doesn't matter what he. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. He, yeah. So, so he tied far, the course so record. Far right? it was nasty. Yeah. What it was. One day we'll be there. One day we'll be hitting shots like that. Sure. Did you know he's only five eleven? That's aspiring. What do you mean only five? That's pretty tall. Brian Have Gay is like five it? foot four, and he's a lefty. These guys. No, it's not Brian Gay. It's Brian it. Harmon. Uh, they're so good. Yeah. Um, so he shoots nine under. He shoots his course record. Yeah, they should. They should just give him the trophy. If you, if you were him, 
realistically, if you yeah. were him, uh-huh. you were a world renowned uh, top player in the world, would you yes. accept the trophy? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Would you? There would be no no competitive bone in your body that said, no, I didn't earn this. No. The way it should have been earned. He did earn it. He went out. It was a one day tournament. He out. He went out there and he won the one day tournament. I've got dogs. Your dog agrees with you. I think. Yes. <laughs> this is this is my life. Welcome to my life. This is, this is what it's like in England. This is the magic of podcasting. It's cloudy today. Is it? Yeah, it's a little cool. It's fifty degrees here, or as we say in England, twelve, ten. 10 or 12? 12, 12 Celsius. Yes, 12 Celsius. That sounds pretty cold to me. Yep. Um, we're, we're, on a, we're, on a, we're on a stretch. We're, we're having really good weather here. It's a little breezy. Good. We've been outside. This will be our third day in a row. Wow. Yeah, we, we've had great weather. Today we had a, a sprinkling. We've had really great weather for most of it. Since we got here, we've had two weeks of un-English like weather. This, let me tell you, to anybody who listens to this, Mm -hmm. everybody wants to know what the weather's like where they don't live. Yeah, no, it's great. It's great. It's not muddy. I can go walking. I live on a footpath. I can go walking down the footpath without having to put on rain boots. That's pretty nice. That's really nice, yeah. The only walking we've been doing is down to get the mail. Nice. Because of the C-word pandemic. The C word not pandemic. allowed. We're not allowed out. Are you? You guys are on total lockdown. So no golf. Yeah. No golf. No golf here. All the golf's been shut down. PGA Tour has been shut down. Like you mm-hmm. said, the Cactus Tour seems to be the only thing running. Yeah. Is you asked me what is the problem with playing golf in a bunch of parks? I think it's. Too much touching of stuff. You just touch stuff. You touch so I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. We're gonna talk about this at the end because I I've got some ideas and I'm gonna talk to the RNA and <laughs> England Golf and Jay Monahan and some other people and we're gonna PGA make golf safe again. Number one, this is just a teaser. This is a teaser for what we're gonna just flip all the benches over so people can't sit on benches. All right. I'd like to hear your opinions later. All right. That's a tease. Flip the benches over. Flip them over. All right. So, so I was reading, reading this week on the Twitter, on the Twitter, uh, Will Gray takes a quote from Xander Schufle. Yeah. Schufle. Yeah. Yeah. And it says Xander Schufle says he has a loss. He has lost a sense of purpose during Uh, shutdown. He hasn't touched his club since Sawgrass. And has had to work on remaining mentally sane while feeling unemployed. Now, a lot of people went out of their way to basically say, you're a rich dude in a mansion who's won once on the PGA Tour and has a bunch of top fives. Uh, maybe, maybe you should just, like, enjoy being rich and, like, settle down. How do you, how do you, yeah. uh, how'd you take that? Did you read that? Did you see that? Yeah, so that's uh, when I sent you uh, some show notes. Oh, that's right. Uh, very professional. Yep. Very professionally done. Uh, when I sent you the show notes and I said weird and interesting things yeah. happening with players, that's exactly what I had in mind. Oh, okay. Xander Shoff- yeah. Xander Shoffley not playing golf is a mistake. These guys can get themselves a simulator. Now, I understand those. I understand these players who are new. They have simulators. Maybe don't have a lot of money, but they definitely have access to keep their games in shape. I think, I don't know what's going on with this. Maybe there's something, maybe there's something personal related to this pandemic that he's going through. That I would understand. But if this is purely, I'm sad because I can't play golf, this may be a hot take. But that's dumb. Go play golf. You're a professional golfer. Uh, hey, like uh, that is that's a fairly hot take. I'm gonna have to disagree with you entirely. Just just because I like I have I don't have a simulator here, but I do have a simulator. Right. And I would do anything to just be walking outside on the golf course. Right. Like, but golf. What I'm saying is golf doesn't pay your bills. No, no. But I think the other thing is these guys. I mean, he's got 
another year and a half on tour before he even has to worry about it. And that's mm-hmm. if he, I mean, he's a, he's a solid, he's going to probably be in the top 125 for the next however many years. Like he's a real solid player. I'm mm-hmm. sure he's got a simulator. I'm sure he just wants to, you know, this is a nice mid season break. And I imagine being out on the PGA tour, going from location to location from, from tournament to tournament is is pretty hard on the mind. I'm sure he's just enjoying having a nice little break. And, and yeah, staying mentally sane, I think it doesn't have to do with the golf as much as it has to do with just, like, stuff's, stuff's getting real. The numbers in America right. are getting crazy. Mm-hmm. So, no, no, I'm with him. I think no matter who you are, if you're shut in a, in a one-bedroom, if you're shut in a studio apartment on the 13th story of a New York City building, or if you're stuck out on... 600 acres in the middle of Wyoming, like you, no matter what, right now, this time, you feel stuck where you are. I mean, you could be, oh, in, I totally in, agree. Yeah, Xander Shoffley's gajillion, you know, you could be in Tiger Woods' yacht privacy. Doc, next, I'm sure Tiger Woods right now is feeling a bit, you know, crazy. I think everybody is. I'm That's my hot, is, is that my hot take? Is that too much of a hot take? I mean, I had to go get ice out of the freezer while you were talking. Oh, okay. Because Sorry, I got I got psyched up. Uh, you wanted too- you wanted you were talking about players doing Peloton. Yeah. So have you seen this? So so Rory McIlroy, all right, he's really leading the way here. So they yeah. have these Peloton races. Yeah, yeah. Right, and it has something to do with output. Now, being being as well off as I'm not, I don't own a Peloton. Okay, so okay. <laughs> and, and really, really, I don't. I've never ridden one, so uh, all I rem, all I know of Peloton is what I see on the commercials. And all right, let me let me explain this to you because I I wanted to get a Peloton, mm-hmm. thanks, honey. But instead, I just got I got I got the whole. Why don't you just get like a a, a nice but less expensive uh, indoor bicycle spin bike, uh-huh. and yeah. then you can just get the app and just do the app. The thing is, you can do that, but what happens is, is you measure, like the like because you're not actually going a distance, you measure the output of the spin bike. So, like you measure the actual electric kilowatt output of the spin bike. Right. So, the harder you you make the spin bike, the more electricity you're technically producing. And that's well, how they that's how they measure these races over like a half an hour or forty five minutes or an hour. Rory McIlroy is killing it and now yeah. there there are athletes i know ian poulter right ian poulter and justin rose got in on it i think yeah ian poulter uh justin thomas has gotten in on it i yeah. think ricky fowler may have been in on it nice Look, they're they're pedaling maybe here let's do a little recall here maybe xander shoffley should get in on this and stay let's in get Get his competitive juices flowing. All I'm saying, I'm not, and I, you know what? I like Xander Shockley. I've seen him. I've seen him play in person. Yeah, several times. I really like him. I like apparently, him. he's like apparently he's the nicest guy. He's so cool. But apparently, everybody All says saying, I was. I was watching um because there's nothing on the Golf Channel except for Chris Cuomo's Golf Experience or whatever it's called. Um. <laughs> And he does something with he he goes out and he talks to to Xander Schauffele, and Z, if you hear stories about Xander Schauffele and his dad, they're hilarious. Oh yeah, like they're yeah. absolutely like Xander Schauffele. Apparently, like he would get dropped off at golf tournaments, nobody would stay and watch him. He'd come in like fifth place, and they'd give him like a medal. His dad would show up a half an hour late, throw the medal away in front of other parents, tell Xander to get in the car, and they would just drive away. And they're like, didn't that affect you? And Xander's just like, well, you know, he's my dad, and you can't really change that. So, you know, no, things are good now. I'm on the PGA Tour. It just taught me how to be a better player. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think you should get on this Peloton thing. Yeah. How many, how many of Gavin's trophy, Gavin, who is Gunnar's son, how many of Gavin's trophies have you just thrown away in front of other parents? None. They're all, they're all podium. They're all podium trophies. So any medals, you just chuck the medals away. No, they're all, they're all top. They they only award medals to the top three players. So you ever just be like, sorry, son, like third, what, what is this garbage? This is garbage. 
No, those kids are so good. If you can get, if heck, if I could get into third place against these kids, I'd keep the medal too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're really. I think good. you should call Sandra Shuffley's dad and be like, "Can you just give me some lessons on how to raise my son?" <laughs> now, listen. I will tell you that I proudly display. Uh, I've won a few, a few golf tournaments, but I proudly display a. Uh, a second place second flight plaque that i've received nice from what that was from the caddy the inaugural caddy shack open nice. here at the, the the country club in our town nice and i was pretty proud of it that was the cool. first one i ever i ever uh, got an award for so that is up are it you... is definitely like a 18th place though nice <laughs> nice are you are you worried about them not doing the olympic golfs this year um, not for golf. I have a lot of opinions on how this will affect the Olympics in general. Yeah. But in golf, golf's a little bit different where you're not, you, you don't have to peak at your, at your yeah. 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 Like swimmers have to peak, right? Swimmers have to peak. Lifters have to peak. Wrestlers probably have to peak. Boxers, they have to peak in golf. I'm not too worried about it. I think is it going to throw off the schedule? Did you watch it? Probably. Did you watch the Rio golf? Yes. It was Put not, it. it was not fun. No. Well, it, it has a different air about it, doesn't it? Yeah. It I just mean, wasn't like, it was like an empty golf course. Right. And it was like Henrik Stenson versus Justin Rose, which you get every week on the PGA tour anyway. Yeah. I don't know. This was for something different though. Yeah. I, I think if it was going to, I think they should have just done amateurs or they should have done something like ridiculous, but I just like it. Well, it didn't, it just felt like regular golf and it's yeah, I think like, it didn't feel like good regular golf. So I, in my opinion, golf's a little bit different when it comes to the awards you get. Like you, you hear all the time about basketball players cause they play in the Olympics, Yeah, but their number one goal is to win an NBA championship. Right. Yeah, the, it's the world championship. It's their championship. Now yeah. they're not too they're not too worried about winning a gold medal. Yeah, in the Olympics, because because they want to win the Masters not, or the FedEx Cup. That's not right. That's not their that's yeah. not their bit. Yeah. But in golf, if you look at all the different trophies and all the redesigns, and you mm -hmm. you go and you look at pictures of these players' trophy cases, it's it's a let's see all the different ones we can collect. And I guarantee you, Justin Rose winning the first Olympics gold medal in, in what? 80 120 years? 20 years? I think it was like 1904 was, it was the last years? one. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a huge, that's a huge prize in that trophy case. Go yeah, they also have like kayaking at the Olympics. Uh, world's best kayaking. Don't they've got rock climbing coming to the Olympics right now. They've got skateboard. They've got you know the Winter Olympics is like snowboarding and ski slope style. But you're what you're saying is is just because it's a different type of like there's only one. There's a different type. You can only win it every four years. It right. means that much more to the other his to his peers to the other peers in his golfing category. Yeah, I, look, how many how many times has LeBron James been tapped to play in the Olympics? Probably every year they've come around that he's been in the league, right? Yeah, what is he? He's like four, he's like 38 now. I mean, he's technically an Olympian. Who cares, though? Yeah. That's LeBron James. He's the best basketball player in the world. Golf, they're all against each other. And yeah. Justin Rose, every time somebody sees Justin Rose, and for the rest of his career. Yeah, it's going to be. He's going to get announced as the gold, the gold medal. Olympic. Yeah, 2016 yeah. Olympics. All right, how do you feel yes. about how do you feel about there not being any masters? Oh, I'm so bummed. I'm so bummed. I'm so I'm yeah. so upset. This is my favorite week in golf. It's next week. Mm -hmm. It's next week. Now, what I will say is that this week, this week, it's it was supposed to be the the Augusta Women's Championship, the Amateur okay. Championship, the Amateur Championship. That event was awesome last year. So I this is so what I don't understand about this, right? Why is it why is it an amateur event only? Why can't they have why can't they have a professional women's masters? Uh I don't know. I don't have like any, maybe you should call your friend any... Jay Monahan. That's good. <laughs> hey Jay, I know you're listening to our first Jay, episode Jay ever. Buddy. Uh why isn't there a but that's what I like 
I remember when this happened last year, the amount of professional LPHA players who came out and were like, Hey, how do I, is this so pot? Can I become an amateur for a couple of weeks? Like, how do I get to play? Like you have a bunch of collegiate women who are, who hopefully will eventually become PG LPGA players. They get to play mm-hmm. one of the top two nicest, three nicest golf courses, maybe even the nicest golf course in the world, like a week before the, the actual masters. Why couldn't you like two weeks later have a women's masters? It was, it, it should be. I'm not, I'm not saying it shouldn't be. I'm just saying. I mean, you do like you have the women's masters. It's just amateurs only. Yeah. I come on, man. What we're trying to do was <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think what they're trying to do is see, see, Hey, is there a market for women's golf during the arguably the biggest week in golf? That's a lie. Yeah, I think that's a sham. I don't know. I don't ask think me it's why. A sham. Ask me why it's why a, sham. It a sham. Because there's always there's always going to be a market for Augusta National. It's a yeah, but you. I mean, people you know, tune in to watch the 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 chip putt and pass, <laughs> the drive pitch and, and putt, the drive chip and putt. Drive chip and putt was canceled too. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like I tune in to to drive chip and putt, and that's a bunch of kids playing on practice greens. Like any, like if they did the senior tour, if they did the tour of champions at Augusta, it would be, it would, it would be headlining uh, the golf channel. It would be headlining ESPN. It would be on Fox. You know what I mean? It would be on every channel because people like Augusta people's want for to watch Augusta national is insatiable. So I just think it's unfair that you would make that an amateur sport and not a professional. I mean, not an amateur event, not a professional event. I agree. Hot take. Hot take. Hot two. take. I, All I right. had to go get more ice. Um, I will say. Let me tell you what. Haley yeah. Moore. Haley Moore played her butt off in in that event. Yeah. And that that made everybody stop and go. Speaking back of Haley Moore. Wow. wow. Yeah. Look at her play. Yeah. Now you got Maria Fossey. You got Jennifer Cupcho, who ended up winning it. Yep. These She's huge, on the tour. These, yeah, both of them. Maria Fossey. Maria Fossey was, uh, I'm pretty sure, a few months ago, almost winning a tournament. I mean, she yeah. was up in the leaderboard. Yeah. The, a lot of good came out of that, for sure. Um, I'm, I'm really, no, I don't disagree. I think it's great. I just, but the thing is like, you don't even have men's amateur events there. No. Like it just, it, to me, it just seems weird because you could hold an event at Augusta national six times a year and people would tune in no matter what. I agree. I like it. Like it could be like, everybody play. Yeah. Have everybody play. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm I'm just saying. I'm talking strictly from from a, a viewership standpoint, from a sponsorship standpoint, from a business standpoint. I really think that just having a women's amateur event there was a way to say, "A, let's see if we have enough uh, uh, interest in women's golf. Let's do it at the amateur level because they're playing for something major." To, to try and and get them on imagine like getting to the lpga and being like yeah, yeah yeah i want i want an augusta and talk to people like anakin annika soristan who have like yeah like i i maybe like i don't get to play there all like yeah i, I didn't i didn't like i don't get to play there what <laughs> i'm just saying i'm just saying and then and then <laughs> and then let's have it let's let's do it again just amateur women again the next year this year which mm-hmm. it would have been. See if that, you know, because everybody's going to jump in on the first event, yeah. right? Everybody likes inaugural yeah. events. And then, mm-hmm. you know, see if it continues. And then, and then I really, I think there's a plan for it. I'm going to miss yeah. that. Drive chip and putt and pimento cheese sandwiches and not having the master sucks. Yeah, it does. It really sucks. Who do you, you think, do you think Tiger could have, you think Tiger was not playing in anything so he can come and defend? Do you think he would have won? You think he could have defended? No. And so here's, <laughs> I have, I have a little. I'm gonna humble brag here. Last year, last year on uh, on the golf website, I on golf, 
I was listed as a uh, contributor for the expert picks for the masters. Okay? Wow. Yeah. Humble brag. I picked, I was loud wrong. I, I picked Rory McIlroy. Yeah. Uh, he's not, he's got him. a long time before he wins there. I think. Ben, I am sticking with Rory McIlroy every year until it happens because yeah. it's going to happen he's getting the rory slam did I've you already stick, coined did, it it's did, in print did you, did you did you stick with sergio garcia for all those years <laughs> no i personally <laughs> i have not uh hard rooted for sergio garcia i respect his game not his temper i don't i don't pick him to win things because history says that he doesn't yeah uh okay but rory mcelroy will win it yeah. This year. He's going to win it this year. Even though it's canceled, it's his. Give it to him. Nice. <laughs> I think that'd be hilarious if, if we just if, – if everybody out there just started a trend and was just like, yeah, Rory McIlroy, 2020 Masters. He won it. <laughs> won it. Do <laughs> you, you think they will play it in the fall? Do you think, or do you think they're just going to skip this year? I don't know. It looks like they're canceling the Open Championship. I, you know what? I, I don't know if we're going to see golf for the rest of the season. Yeah. Can they just give us the $10 million for the FedEx Cup? Can they just hand that over to us so we can have more podcasts? Sure. That, that's a good idea. Talk, talk to your buddy, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> See, just give me my buddy from now on. Yeah, your friend, your friend Jay the Commish. Yeah. All right, cool. And then we, this, is, this segment has gone on long enough. But I was just curious. Did you see, you see those, all those dudes blasting left-handed drivers? Yes. Have Do you, you believe it? Left-handed? I don't believe it. I believe it. Number one, I think those t- like those commercials, they just juice up all the numbers anyway. <laughs> I think they're I'm like, like, what? You hit it 357 yards it. in the air? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that they did it first try, but I'm 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 bought in. They did it. Yeah. And we know, I mean, we know this about my iron set. Like they juiced the stuff out of my iron set. My nine iron is like my last year's seven iron. It is, and like, I don't, I don't appreciate it because I can't. Because <laughs> when I play with when I play with people um, who have a great strength in their distances, such as you, mm-hmm. I I work really hard on rhythm, and so I've managed to get a lot of a lot of uh, distance. But I can't look at you and say, "Hey, what did you hit here?" Because it'll be 180 yards, and I'm reaching for a seven or a six, depending. And yeah. you're like, "Oh, it was a nine iron." It was nine. And I don't appreciate that. <laughs> I don't appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, but do you, I mean, do you think do you think uh, Dustin Johnson can actually smash it 300 yards left-handed? Yes. Hundred <laughs> percent. All right. All right. So bought in. What do you think you would shoot left-handed around, uh, like a local golf course? Like the last golf course we played together. What do you think you would have hit left-handed? What I would have hit, or what Dustin Johnson would have hit? No, you. Oh. Um, Don't give me a round number. Give me like a very specific number. Oh, I'm double parring every hole. You're you're double parring every hole. Every hole left hand. Oh no, I don't know because I can putt pretty well left handed. Because I have a okay. left hand low stroke, so yeah. I got pretty good control. So I've uh, got a left handed set at the house. Forty over. Forty over. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll both go out with the same left handed set the next time I'm in Virginia. Yeah, and we'll play. Let's we'll, do that. We'll play. Uh, we'll play an empty ish course. Maybe we'll just we'll play. play maybe we'll, three course. Yeah, we'll just play the schoolhouse and see see how many balls we lose. Everyone will hate you. What? Everyone will hate you. Yeah, my wife will say everybody. Well, no, nobody plays out there. That's true. Yeah, yeah, nobody plays there. Yeah, yeah. She says everybody's gonna hate us. Everybody hates us anyway, honey. Thank you. Thanks for reminding me. And we're and we're trying to put our our opinions publicly out there on the internet. This isn't gonna do well for for the opinions. About us. Yeah. You're supposed to be supporting me in everything that I do. I do. She said she does. I'm, I'm taking that to the bank. She loves me. All right. Um, I'm not funny, though, so I'm saying that. She's, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> <laughs> the Swingdom. I should probably bring my show notes back up and open my search browser. There we go. Look at that. What All search right. browser do you use? 
The Google. Oh. Are you a Bingster? I am. I do use the Bing? I, I Bing everything. Really? Yeah. And it's also my default search engine on my phone. That's weird. Is it? I'm using Bing right now. What? Ah, thank you, Dora. Thank wow. you. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't. What's I don't. Okay. I didn't realize. I didn't realize there was a difference. I just sort of used the one that my brain goes to first. Well, what do you, we got to talk about? So, so they're going to do a Phil Tiger rematch. I didn't watch the first one. Did you? Yes. So. I paid the twenty dollars the day it came out for pay per view. Yeah, and then they made it free. Yeah, I was the working. Site crashed. Yeah, was it? It was Barstool, wasn't it? No, it was. I think it was NBC. I thought it was, it was Barstool. Barstool. Maybe, maybe it was Barstool afterwards. Um, yeah, I didn't watch it. Oh, I saw the pictures of everybody being like, "This is Tiger and Phil in front of a bunch of stacks of money in Las Vegas." Yeah, it was. Hey, look, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. It, there could have been a lot more back and forth between Phil and Tiger. Yeah, uh, a lot more betting. So there yeah. was there was definitely some betting on camera betting, <laughs> but uh, Tiger Woods like took it super serious, which is great because it was for nine million dollars. Yeah, um, I get it, but hey, have <laughs> I get it. you already. You already have nine million dollars. Yes. All right. You both do. So just go yeah. play. Um. So they're they're talking about doing they're talking about doing a second one. Yes. They're going out as twosomes. Wait. Yes. And it's your it, go go on, go on. Tell it us about is it. My Peyton F and Manning of the first. Indianapolis Colts. No, 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 the Denver Broncos. <laughs> go Broncos. Listen, and and the the cheatness man in in history, Tom Brady. Is that they have they of, announced that, or is that just speculation still? It it has it has unofficially officially been announced. Okay, who are you rooting for then? Wait, well, who's so gonna, here's, who's going to be with who? Right. So so th- I am going to have an issue with this that. So far uh, now, it would be Tiger Woods and Tom Brady with okay. Phil and Peyton Manning. Ooh. Now, I am a huge Phil Mickelson fan also. And they together, it would be gold. However, I think you should kind of balance it out and put Tom Brady with Phil Mickelson, kind of just to get him talking a little bit. Yeah. And Peyton Manning to get if it's, Tiger yeah, talking a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I don't think Tom Brady and Tiger are going to talk a whole lot, are they? Mm-mm. Tom Brady's just going to be like, on to number two, on to number three, on to number four. It. No, yeah. bad reference. On to Cincinnati. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. And Peyton and, and Phil will just, just, okay. So if, let me, I'm, I wrote down, a few other lists of of people that I think should be in it. Who would you who would you root for? Tiger and Obama versus mm. Phil and Trump. Oh, you, you can't politicize this. Trump can't play golf. We all know that. He <laughs> can't. I watched a video on him just cheating a whole bunch the other day. It was really funny. Yeah, I. I Oh, in golf, would, cheating in golf. Totally let, me, root, let me preface that by saying cheating in golf. Yes. Cheating in golf. I would totally root for Tiger and Obama. Okay. Um, well, t- I thought like I thought Tony Romo would be a good pick because he's like a semi-professional golfer. He is. He is pretty good. Did you get this? Did you get that pairing off of uh, this uh, CBS Sports article? No. All right. Oh well, see, it was backwards on this. So this, I found the CBS golf article, okay, written by Kyle Porter. Kyle Porter, I like that man. Kyle yep. Porter, CBS Twitter, yep. I like that guy so much. Yeah. So he speculates. Here are some other good uh, pairings, and I want you to answer the same question you just asked me. I'm going to okay. run through these. You tell me what you think. All right, but you got to tell me who you pick as well. Woods. I will. Okay. Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods versus Steph Curry and Phil Mickelson. 
I'd have to go Steph Curry. Let me preface this by saying I'm a much bigger fan of Tiger than I am of Phil's. So that's the hard part. Mm-hmm. But I'm a much bigger fan of Steph Curry than I am of Michael Jordan. Oh, you're breaking my heart here. See, so I'm, I'm gonna, the opposite. I, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a much bigger fan of Phil than Tiger, but I will never root for Michael Jordan to lose anything. So, yeah, so I pick Steph Curry. <laughs> How many Looney Tunes are helping Michael Jordan? Eight. Good. Then, then he's got a real chance then, because Steph Curry's like a one or two handicap. All right. Mike Trout and Tiger Woods versus Aaron Judge and Phil Mickelson. Mike Trout and Tiger Woods. Mike Trout's from New Jersey. Same. I'm from New Jersey. Mike Trout is like, the, he's the most overrated, underrated player in baseball history. Mike Trout may be the greatest baseball player to ever play the game. Yeah, but everybody's like, he's so underrated because he plays for the Angels. I'm like, that doesn't make him under, like, his stats. In baseball, your stats speak for themselves. Just because you don't have championships doesn't mean that your stats aren't absurd. Did you see that video of Mike Trout hitting balls at uh, Topgolf? Yes. I mean, but anybody can do that. Not like Mike Trout can. (laughs) Have you gone – you've not (laughs) – you've gone over the net at Topgolf. Once. Yeah, it happens. One time. Yeah. It can happen. I'm not going to tell you if it was at the end. Could have been the side <laughs> net. I'm not telling. Yeah, that's also true. Uh, that's a good point. <laughs> that's, that's up to the – I'll leave that in the uh, mind. Uh, Lionel Messi and Christian Ronaldo. Messi with Tiger, Ronaldo with Mickelson. Is Ronaldo – can Ronaldo do it shirtless? Yeah, I don't think there's shirt rules. Okay, yeah, yeah. Then Ronaldo and you said Ronaldo and Phil. Yeah. CR seven versus Fireside Phil. Same. Shirts versus skins, and and Phil and Ronaldo are skins. <laughs> <laughs> Phil doesn't have a shirt on either. Nope. <laughs> All right. Last one. Last one. All right. Because we're agreeing too much. Okay. Uh, Roger Roger Federer. And Tiger Woods versus Rafa Nadal and Phil. That's like that's a tough so, one. That's a tough one. Cause yeah, I'd have to I'd have to go with Team Nike. I'd have to go with I'd have to go with Federer and Tiger. Same. Damn. Yeah. All right. So that was that wasn't as I like disagreement, but I'm glad we're on the same page. So we only have one one group to bet on if this actually happened. Yeah. Take that. That's fine. I would – yeah. All right. So then, yeah. So what's going on with your golf game? Um, my golf game. Like I, uh, I haven't played. Really good at Xbox right now. Yeah. Um, we've been using the putting gallery a lot in our house. Yep. Um, and then we just uh, put together those chipping boards, kind of like cornhole. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start that. And then we have a chipping hole out in the yard. Yeah. Um, so just a lot of short game stuff and putting. Not. Yeah. We, we blew apart a net recently, so we, we can't do any – Long big, stuff. Big swings. We can't yeah. do any big swings, as the kids say. Yeah, I built one of those. I built one of those cornhole boards as well, but I only built one because I don't have anybody to play with. Because I'm quarantined oh. with a bunch of non-golfers. Um, <laughs> it's miserable. Um, I I've been trying to like I've been trying to work on club building. Mm-hmm. So I've been trying to like order parts for clubs. So I got I got more Arco scripts. Oh, nice. I'm going to put those on my drivers and my wedges this week. Uh, I've been getting a lot more consistent with my driver, which is good. But, again, it's it's just everybody's in quarantine, so there's no golf to be played. Um, I've been watching a lot of golf on YouTube. So, yeah. like, I've been watch, I've watched a ton of Rick Shields. I've been watching a lot of bad golf with John Robbins and Alex Horn. That's been, they're pretty funny. They're pretty bad. They're pretty funny. Um, they are pretty bad. Oh, did you watch it? I did. Yeah, they're pretty bad. Pretty bad. Um, and then, no, my, my big beef right now is that, like, parks are open. Like, everybody is outside walking for, like, an hour or two or three a day. Like, right now, I live uh-huh. in a national park. So, I live in, like, I live in Dartmoor National Park, which is a bit like where I used to live, which is Shenandoah National Park. And, like, there's just, like, a massive influx of people going and being outside 
And like, that's great. Cause like, it's really good for your mental health to like go out and do stuff. But I don't see how that's any different from being on a golf course. If you can make it so that people don't have to touch things, which I, I have a few ideas. I think I, I, we discussed this a bit earlier. What are your ideas? Well, I said earlier, if just number one, you just flip all the benches over. Nobody's allowed to sit down. Right. Right. Uh, number two, get, get rid of all flags. Mm-hmm. What you do is you have just you, paint. What? Have you seen them stick those pool noodles down in the flag? Yeah, I've seen that, but that's like great. Like people are still t- like people are still aiming for the hole. Like the my like the big issue right now is that like people are still trying to hit right. like thirty footers. If you hit a thirty footer, you still got to put your hand in the corona hole. <laughs> nobody wants to do that. That's just gross. Nobody, nobody wants corona hands. No. So I what I think you should do is you should you should have you should put every hole is essentially in the middle of the green, right? Yes. And instead of putting a flag stick, you find the middle of the green according to your own yardage book at the golf course, and you paint a whole sized white dot on it. Then you do a circle at, let's say, six feet, and then you do yep. a circle at 25 feet. Right? So mm-hmm. if, you're, if you're inside six feet, it's a gimme. If you're inside 25 feet, it's a two putt. If you're out, if you're outside of 25 feet, your goal is to lag putt to three foot. But at no point is are people touching flags. At no point are people putting their hands in holes. And it, you know, my the thing that it I think is going to be the best thing about it if this was adopted by anybody, it would it would you know not enough people aim for the middle of the green. That's true. So many people have range finders. And they go flag hunting, even though they're three yards from the back and two paces from the left. And they're like, oh, why did I end up in that bunker on the left-hand side? It's like, well, because you're, you know, you're, you're just, your area of dispersion is this circle. And instead of aiming at the middle of the green where your entire shots would be safe, you're aiming at the fly. So, like, let's just give everybody three months to aim at the middle of the green. Yep. In technical terms, you've said that they're not very good. Yeah, yeah. I don't know very. I don't know many good golfers. <laughs> I don't. Like, I'm not a good golfer. I'm a ten handicap. I'm not like. I don't know. Like, I've never played golf with a scratch golfer. Oh, me neither. I've, I've never played, seen what like good golf handicap. looks like. Like, that's why I watch YouTube. I watch good golf, Rick Shields, and bad golf. Bad golf. Bad golf. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, and then my other thing would just be. You know, pick up if you, you hit it in a bunker, just pull, just take it out of the bunker. Yeah, just uh, yeah, just re- just pick up relief. Family rules. Yeah, yeah just yeah, just so I mean, you just want to get so people out there the and walking and being together and like no touching allowed. But like, it would be nice to be able to like go outside and play nine holes, be outside for four hours away from everybody else. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. I think what they've done really well in the courses that are still open in other states and some in Virginia, I think. Yeah. Not around here. It's uh, well, that's the thing. Like in, in England, it's like a nationwide England has closed down all the golf courses, like legally, right. legally mandated it. Yeah, we're we're like a bunch of little Englands. Yeah. So the uh I, from what I've heard, and I think these are good ideas. You can only play you can only uh, ride in a cart with a family member. Yeah. You can only, um, or some courses, you can only walk. Um, they pay, yeah. some courses are doing only pay over the phone. Yep. Um, no caddies. I'm trying to get my Apple Pay going. So all I have to do is like put my phone in somebody's face and be like, this is my money now. Scan it. Right. Yeah. Um, because I'm so grossed out by like pin numbers and cards. Right. I so carry gross. around a pen. I carry around a pen with me. Do you? Yeah, I've marked up so many pin pads because I don't, you know, because because I just use the pen to tap. But I feel like the sur- the the opening where the ink comes out is too much surface area. Yeah. So I click I click the pen open, and so I use the the ink part. <laughs> to do my pins yeah so no i think i think some courses are doing a good job of it 
um, it's a shame that where you are and where I'm at, we can't play. But yeah, we'll get out there eventually. Yeah, I need I to. Agree. I need to because, well, like, yeah, walking. I mean, my I left my simulator in the states. Yeah, and it's like it's the bane of my existence at the moment. Is that like I don't even I can't even like be in a room and like have my simulator and like try to chip it thirty yards into a net. Well, no, oh, shouldn't the have worst. done that. I shouldn't have done that. I didn't think it was going to be this no. bad. Nobody thought it was going to be this bad. This is dumb. No, it's pretty bad. This is that's my rant. All right. Um, yeah. I think that was. I think we did a good pod. That's good. Thanks for listening to the Swingdom podcast. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, we're gonna have another one or two or three out in the next week or two or three. Yes. Um. And- yeah, and you, we do we are we on any uh, social media now? Oh yeah, yeah, we're on. It's the the we have an Instagram. It's called the Swingdom, and yeah. I don't have. I I'm gonna try to get. I've got a Gmail account together. I think I've got a Gmail account. I have a Gmail account. Let me see if I can figure out what it is again because I keep changing it. It's right now. It's the Swingdom of Golf at Gmail dot com. The swingdom of golf at gmail.com. Send in your questions, emails, clarifications. Yep. Send us some faxes uh, and your notes. Yep. Um, don't, don't say mean things, but if we're wrong, we'll, we'll, we'll understand. Yes. We want to learn from this experience. We don't just want to say things all the time. Yeah, we're not professional golf commentators. We just really like it. We're just big old That's fans. Yep. Fan, right. A fan podcast. Yep. Let's go. Thanks for listening to The Swingdom. Hey, Gunnar, I'll catch yep. up with you later. All right. All right, man. Talk to you. Yeah, we'll see you. Bye. All right, bye. Bye.